I, I was going through a lot. I don't blame it on nobody but myself. You know what I'm saying? I put myself through everything, every trial, every tribulation. I did that because my mom just wanted the best for me. But she didn't understand what I saw. She didn't understand my vision and where I wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't get it until they can actually see you benefiting from it. When they didn't understand it, I was like, man, you know, fuck it. I don't want to be around it. And in my mind, I felt like it was negativity. But now that I'm a parent, I realize that, you know, you just want what's best for your child. That's just what it is. Like, even, it's going to take you a while for you to get it. I was just like, you know, I want to, I'm going to stay out here. I'm going to get it on my own. But even if I don't have to have the clothes that I want, even if I don't know when I'm going to eat, even if I don't have a place to stay, even if, you know, I'm not going to have a cell phone or no access to anybody, I'm going to do what I feel is best for me. But with that being done at that time, I lost myself. I wasn't making music. You know what I'm saying? I was just really like doing everything that my mom was afraid of me doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I was, I was proving everybody right by trying to prove myself right. I was proving everybody else right. So it was tough. But then, you know, sometimes you get to a point where you gotta realize that you gotta put your pride to the side. And you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put yourself in a position to where your mentality has to be, you gotta do what you don't wanna do to get to where you need to be. And people don't know how to do that. And even if they do, they don't want to because they don't wanna feel like, they don't wanna hear I told you so. But that being said, man, I just want people to know like, just, just stick to what you know and stick to what you wanna do, but, but also know that if somebody's telling you something and they, and they, and they feel a way, they care about you. So take their thoughts into consideration too. The wiser, the wiser person is always the person that's listening, not the person that's doing the most talk. Don't be afraid to take advice, but also, you know, stick to your guns too. Pride was every, like, I was like, man, fuck that. I'm not getting no job. I'm not getting no license. I'm not getting no diploma. Because in my mind, I feel like I didn't need none of that shit to be where I wanted to be until your ass got to go to the airport and you ain't got a license or no ID. You know what I'm saying? You can't get on the motherfucking plane. I had to become a man. I had to, I had to, I had to, you know, and I'm still becoming a man to this day. It's just some things that, you know, I could work on. Every day you should be working on yourself, whether it, whether it's it being your craft, being a dad, being a brother, being a friend. Every day is something that you can improve. But at that time, I was just blind. I was just, you know, ignorant. I was just whatever. And that don't get you nowhere until you enter position to be like, whatever. Until you work hard enough to where you can take days off. When I was in school, and you, and you could ask anybody that went to school with me, I had a book. I never did work. I was writing raps. So my mom always knew I wanted to be a rapper. She thought it was just a phase at first, but like that's all I ever wanted to do was make music. Ever. I never, it's not too many assignments that I've turned in. You know, and I wasn't even one of those kids that slept in class. I may have slept in first period. But second period, I was writing raps. Second period to whatever class I decided to go to, I was writing raps. And it's crazy how none of those raps would ever be heard because I don't even know what the fuck they are. What got me out of that hole was I was dealing with somebody who I love dearly, like, to this day. Like, I'm always love her. I'm always, like, wish that I didn't fuck up. At that time, she was doing well. She was doing great for herself. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was moving. And she was like, you know, Chaz, if you love me enough, then you would love yourself enough to get your shit together for us. You know, like, you need to go home. You need to get a job or whatever it is. You need to get your shit together. I mean, she was like, you know, I'm always be here, but I care about you enough to I'm gonna tell you when you're wrong. And I'm gonna tell you when you need to, you know, do better. And I cared about her enough to listen to what she was saying. And I realized like, you know, that's the reason why we're not together no more. Because I, I went home. Had I never went home, I'd have still been ain't shit, but we'd have still been together. Had I never changed my lifestyle, she wouldn't have gone nowhere. We'd have still been, you know what I'm saying? We'd have still been together, but I still would have been that guy who was doing nothing just because I felt like that's all I had. That's the only person I felt like I had at that time. And when she finally, and when, by her saying that, 
Cause she never, she knew what I was going through, but she had never said, hey Chaz, you need to go home. Or, she had never said that. When she finally said that, I was like, okay, I'm really fucking up. I just don't understand what school would be like without those things. And I think, I think the government take away certain things for certain reasons, man. We're not buying guns from ourselves. We're not getting AK-47s from my nigga in the hood. Like, even if I got it from him, he got it from someone who got it from, like, we're being supplied. Feel Once they better, left me the hell yeah. alone, I went right to sleep. I felt like, because they closed the whole kitchen down, no one could get food, drinks, anything, whole flight. I blew it. No more edibles for me. I'm the one that she wants to, like, you know, brag about to her friends and stuff like that, you know? So, like, for a while, like, she didn't really, like, gauge in, like, what I was doing. Like, you know, it's probably, like, a fantasy where, like, that this kid's living in and stuff, you know? And then, like, I also felt like we were kind of distant for a long time because I was also in boarding school and, like, she was away.